Team will be starting off in just two seconds here between Team AMD, Pure Ball, and Ed Shed from Canada. Orcs versus humans, Radio ITG at the World Cyber Games 2004. And we are go here with the Orcs straight away, getting into that gold mine, getting their building set up. Uh, straight up, just due north of them are the humans of uh, Ed Shed. They will be Ed Shed as the humans, it will be Pure Ball as the Orcs, already spawning up more Orcs, getting down his Orc Burrow and his Altar of Storms. As well as looking above, we have an Altar of Kings being built by the peasants who uh, are also constructing a barracks right now. Um, I guess it's not going to be Twisted Meadow like Pure Ball was initially informed, but the game continues anyway. And it uh, looks like gold mines being used up goes a farm as well. Both teams pretty much building similar forms of units right now. Up goes York Burrow and the Altar of Storms. And as we look around, we have yet more Orcs being trained and the barracks going up as well. And uh, this game should be kicking off any moment now. Uh, well, the, the team should be scouting any moment now. Of course, the game has already kicked off. And uh, it looks like some of the peasants may be moving on out. And um, we're on Knoll Wood right now here at Radio ITG Warcraft 3. This is our fifth game today, and I believe it will be the last today. Uh, more coming up tomorrow here. Up goes the barracks, almost near construction. Seeing a lot of choice for humans today. Now we have a militia going out from the base going due west now the bases are both very close to one another we are just uh what i don't know half half map each to one another due north of uh, due north and due so south of one another and the other team have taken the option to go north or south they've all gone west straight across the left hand side of the map and uh gonna be a while before either of them find the other one now looking further across we have more buildings being built. We have an Arkneg being trained at the Altar of Kings. As always, the Arkneg has been an ever-present in today's pre uh, proceedings. Down at the uh, down at the Orc base, we have uh, Farseer being constructed, um, as well as an, another Orc burrow going straight up. We have the barracks training up some Grents as well. And taking a look around, the scouts have yet to find anything. And that's because they've gone across to the map, with, they've gone across to the part of the map that uh, <laughs> really isn't in much use at the moment. Anyway, looking around, more going out. Here comes the Arkmeg, straight away going south, going with his uh, footmans. Two footmans there, spawns up a water elemental, and now the creep team can begin. Taking on some null brutes, as well as taking down some null poachers. The creeps cannot really, don't have much to say, and the Arkmeg is beginning the level up. Already he goes up to about a third of level one, making his way down across, takes down another. Slowly but surely pushing on up. Grunt just passes Yarkmeg behind him. Yarkmeg doesn't see it, and is he going to follow it up? Yes, he is. He's going to follow it straight up, back up to his base. The question is, has the Grunt seen the base itself? I don't believe it does. It has. I think it went straight uh, beneath it. However, now it's doubling back. It's taking fire from the Yarkmeg. Pure Balls getting that Grunt out of there. Being chased by the Footman. The Grunt is uh, somewhat undecided. Now the Footman back away with the Yarkmeg. They don't believe the base was seen, and the Water Elemental is still waiting across. Now we have our Farseer up and uh, moving around. Uh, we have a Null Warden and a Null Assassin just following him behind. And uh, it looks like finally the Peasant has uh, gone straight around the map. He has uh, circumnavigated the globe, so to speak, right here. And as he does so, he's going to get met full on by the Farseer and his uh, Spirit Wolves. Oh no, the Spirit Wolves diverting across, taking down some Null Assassins and some Null Wardens right next to this goblin merchant. As they do so, the Null Assassin putting a few shots back to the uh, Farseer who uh, levels up. And um, it looks like we have had a little push going on to the base. The, far the Arkmeg just backed around to the base. Now going to meet up with that Grunt that we saw earlier. Still about 600 health. And he backs away before the Footmen see him. Now, looks like the uh, looks like the Farseer is going to back away to his base now. Looking at his level and he has about two thirds up to a level two. And uh, he's taking on some more creeps here and another goblin merchant south of the map. More creeping going on from both teams as um, they're both fighting it out at separate goblin merchants now. Both of them taking it to taking it to the creeps, making their way around. And so far, Tank Pureball's uh, grunt has in fact gotten away. We've got more grunts coming around. We've got three or four grunts and the Farseer, and they're going to take on the Footman straight away. They're just going to double back and take it to the Archmage and the Humans. Orcs now backing away towards their base, doubling back, fire up some Spirit Walls, and here they come. It's the Water Elementals against the Spirit Walls. It is the hero versus hero. We have one level two hero. Now we have a second level two hero. The Archmag levels up, and the grunts of uh, the Spirit Wolves are down. Grunt's still up in full uh, flight, and uh, they are taking it to this Water Elemental now. But the Archmag coming from behind takes a few shots off. Not much damage done to either of the three grunts that are up. The Farsi has back all the way back into the base. He is down to about 272 HP, and um, now we are seeing 
the Arkney getting out of there, still up pretty much at full HP. Gonna take on the gonna take on the um, creeps right outside the center of the space. Is that a wise idea? They could easily get creep jack right at the start of this match. We've got uh, a null, two null poachers left alive though, and uh, both level ones, and both not gonna put up much of a challenge towards um, towards the Arkney who deals with them both quite happily. Now, here come the grunts once again, though. A little late on the creep jack. There are three or four grunts going at them with the, uh, with the uh, fast here right behind, doubling back towards their base. But here comes the Archmaid, leading the charge straight in towards that base. Takes a little scout, sees what's been built up. Nothing so far. Stronghold has not been, uh, is not under construction. Keep is just upgrading right now as I speak. And they're going to go for an automatic upgrade towards the castle as well. And he is very keen to get himself up to level three. Looking across towards the heroes, we have got, an, from the Altar of Kings, we've got a Mountain King going up uh, for at second stage. We have a, big, a great big amount of um, peasants moving around in the base, of course. More so than I would say orcs moving around in the base. The Archmage is now being outnumbered. His footmen are falling right down in the south base off tag pure ball. His orcs are slowly... Um, sorry, his grunts are slowly surrounding the footmen, and around they go. The Archmage is going to back on out the... Uh, pure ball is, uh, elemental is under damage as well but the Farseer has flanked him around and has gone around the wood and they're now going to try and trap in the Archmag who has taken damage left right and center and he's trying to flee the scene Farseer putting some shots in his back Archmag moving away down to about 270 HP and uh, away goes the footman back up to his base now looking across we have more footmen who have come across we don't see any form of, uh, any attempt at any form of an expansion so far as I just scroll around I see nothing so far now we have a bit of a force coming up. We also have a Tauren Chieftain uh, that has been spawned as well as a level 2 Farseer and that is for Team MD Pure Ball. Looking across, we have got uh, the castle being constructed. We have got, um, from the Order of Kings, we've got another uh, mountain. We have got a mountain king as well that has been spawned. So both sides are at a level 2 hero and a level 1 hero and uh, are going to go around for some more creeping. There's a big creep right in the center of the map that they're going to go at, right at the gold, right at the gold mine, and it looks like there's going to be a bit of creep jacking as the red team coming in from behind. Team AMD Gribble is going to have to be aware of that because coming from behind is... Oh, no, he's going straight for the base, in fact, doubles back, going towards the base. The Archmag is going to lead the charge in, going to take it towards the Spirit Lodge, spawns up a uh, Water Elemental, and is going to just uh, begin the assault on the base. The Orcs are going to probably double back into the Orc Burrow if they were to t lose any health, but uh, so far the peons are... Uh, the peons are in good shape, and uh, down goes that spirit lodge before it can, anything can happen to it. Now the water elemental is still up and going. We're going to lose an orc burrow now that's in constructing. The war mill has just been constructed before the forces can get towards it. So far, though, the orcs, uh, the, sorry, the peons are still in uh, still in full swing in their mining abilities. Torin Chieftain taking damage, putting it out there, though, just taking foul swoops at any footman he can, and as he does so, he's get very close to leveling up to level two. We have a town portal called by the Archmage, and he's going to get his forces out of there before uh, the Farseer can get to them. Now we have, I would say, four to five, um, four to five grunts in and around the area. Taking a look up at the base. Really, there are only two or three footmen. Uh, just two footmen there. I don't see any. Um, I don't see any other ground units being spawned up. Of course, now we are up to the castle level here, and looking at the uh, economy of both teams. Well has to be said, Etched's, uh, Etched's economy is looking a bit weak. Only 65 gold. And, uh, doing fine in the wood department, though. And now, the Torrent Chieftain is giving chase to the Archmage, who is getting the heck out of there. We have uh, some sorceresses coming in to lend a hand. The Water Elemental just spawns up. Torrent Chieftain and the Farseer going to go straight through the front door of the base. Here they go. They're losing health straight away. Two sorceresses taking damage. And the castle, uh, sorry, the Mountain King has not leveled up at all in this game. And he is taking damage as we speak. Now, as it continues, we have more footmen leading chase to the grunts who are trying to get out of this base. Now, that's a bad move if you ask me, because right now they have severe numerical advantage and they need to press it. Torrent Chieftain pushing straight into that base. He is very close to leveling up to level two. Taking some more swoops at the footman and at that Mountain King, who has lost about 50% of his health. And the Farseer notices that and is taking a battle to him, as are the grunts. The, level of the Mountain King, still at level one, is taking damage. He's having to run the heck away, and he is just moving back towards his base for comfort. And now the grunts are still taking it inside this base. As they continue, the Toran Chieftain is leveling up. The stone, the uh, Stonebreaker is going to go down, and oh, not so good there by the Mountain King as he falls down for Stonebreaker. And now it looks like level two, the level two Archmage is having to retreat well back into his base because uh, he has uh, the 
the cover of the arcane tower that has uh, well forced the grunts to retreat. Now he's followed the grunts straight as they've gone out of the base, and they have just turned around and they're taking swipes with this Tauren chieftain down about 50% of his health. The Farseer as well is uh, Farseer's health is pretty much full, and looking around, they're in a fairly good position right now. The uh, the yellow team of Team AMD Pureball going up against. Etched from Canada, so it's the UK versus Canada here in Warcraft 3, and now we have a level one paladin taking it to the grunt, the back grunt of um, Pure Ball. Now looking around, we have Shaman built up as well, and uh, just scrolling around, they're going to retreat back to their base. No creeping going on right now. Of course, this is very close. We have one base that is within touching distance of another base here on Knollwood. Now you're you're listening to Radio ITG at the World Cyber Games 2004 in San Francisco. Powered by Game Cloud. Now looking around, we have some more, more uh, creeping going on by Etched, who's taking it towards the mercenary camp, taking on some rock golems and assassins. Uh, easily outnumbered, and the assassin is going to fall very quickly here on the left-hand side. Rock goblin still in fine shed, and uh, the paladin is taking it straight to him, as is the uh, knight as well. Knight in shining armor, taking it, taking it straight to that golem. And uh, they are all going to surround the golem, do their du do their deed, and he is destroyed. And um, they pick up the uh, pick up the reward and move away swiftly. Now, looking at the bottom hand side, it looks like the uh, Farseer is going to lead the charge with the Torrent Chieftain straight into another set of Rock Golem and Troll Berserker. Pure Ball leading the charge, already taking down one Troll Berserker, and as he does so, he will clear the way for an expansion towards a um, towards a gold mine, which. I would guess he would favor, but I have no way of knowing. Anyway, moving across straight into the base comes pure uh, so comes Etched, and in fact he's not going for the base. He's going for the respawn condo beast, and as he does so, the condo beast doubles back and is going to take it towards the uh, mountain king and the uh, paladin, who are both taking swipes at him. That uh, condo beast is about to fall any second now, as the shots come raining down upon him. Condo beast falls, and here comes the town portaling home forces. The spirit wolves are going to dissipate and. Uh, this, the Farseer is going to spawn up two more of those, and slowly, slowly, uh, Pure Ball has recovered his base, and uh, really not much of a, not much of an attack done to the base, just losing one um, one condo beast. Torrent Chieftain up to about level level two and two thirds. The action is kicking off once again on the front door to Pure Ball's base. The level two um, Torrent Chieftain just taking swipes at anything he can see. The priest is the nearest thing to him, but the Torrent Chieftain has taken some damage. He's got the Endurance Aura, and as he moves around, we've got more fire coming in from the Archmage, which is now up to level 3. Here comes the Farseer as well, on the back of the end, on the back of the action. But the Tauren Chieftain has fallen, and the Pendulum has swung once again here. It looks like Etched has swung his numerical disadvantage into his favor now. But coming at the back of the battle, it's the Shamans. We've got three or four Shamans trying to make their way in towards the battle. And uh, now, I'm not sure whether the Priests are going to follow the action in, or whether they're just going to stay on the whether they're going to stay out of the base and they're going to back off. In fact, no, they are going to follow the action in. The whole unit is going to move on into the base, led by the Archmage, led, led also by the uh, Mountain King, straight to the back of the base. The peons have retreated to the Orc burrows. Arrows coming out of them, doing damage to the uh, heroes that are moving around. The Paladin up to level 2, down to just about 200 HP. And the Grunts are falling as well, though. Another Grunt is about to fall any second now, as the Archmage rains the terror in down upon him. Some of the peons are still trying to bravely get some gold up. And believe you me, they need the gold because they've lost a lot of units already. But Etched is right on the backhand side of Pure Ball's base. The fortress is still secure quite happily. But the peons are taking a heck of a lot of damage. Here comes the Farsia with some um, dire wolves. Down goes another one of the dire wolves. And so far, Etched is in a very good position. He can easily get. He, he is quite badly cornered, though. And uh, he's going to have to. Um, if the attack were to come in, he would have to get himself right out the front hand side. And he could get blocked in. Here comes the Torrent Chieftain, revived. And at the he has cornered another one of the entrances out. And it looks like the Knight is going to take it straight to that Torrent Chieftain, who has already lost 400 hit points. And uh, looking a little bit worse for wares now, as they move around, we've got these sorceresses and priests right on the outside of the battle. And as they move back on in, the knight is going to lead the charge in. The peons are taking damage as well. They're still bravely trying to get the gold. And uh, one of the, another one of the peons falls, but the shaman's coming back around. Two condo beasts moving on up. And as the units have been spawned, so has Team AMD Pure Ball's attack uh, defense strengthened. But you have to say, Etched has been in this base for a long time. And here come some reinforcements in the shape of a Gryphon Rider, uh, sorry, a Gryphon Rider, 
coming in from above the trees and they're going to take it. I'm surprised that they haven't made more of an attack on the fortress because they're in a very strong position sitting right next to it and the Orc Burrows cannot do any damage to it. And as I speak, one of the Orc Burrows gets decimated there. Good games being set by both teams and it looks like Etched from Canada has taken the victory over Team AMD Pure Ball of the United Kingdom and what a close game that was. Over in just 15 minutes, Etched really made it count as he just sat himself right in the base of Pure Ball and that is game, set, and match to Etched from Canada. And good game said by both teams. Looking at the scores, Etched was about 10,000 above Pure Ball in the overall score. And um, most of that coming in the hero score, just keeping them alive longer. And uh, the Touring Chieftain was a very good, played a very good game as the second hero to that, um, to the Farseer. Now, that is it for our coverage of Warcraft 3 today, I believe. Um, we have now seen, we have seen five games today of Warcraft 3. We have seen uh, NW Caf from Italy take the victory over the Romanian Rush Me Please. We then saw Chobo from Kazakhstan go down to Lady from South Korea. Then we saw the French SK Faxi take on Hasu Hasi and uh, coming out victorious. Then we saw w 420 from 3WD from Bulgaria take down Venom of Turkey and then lastly we saw Pure Ball get decimated by the Canadian Et Shed and uh, tomorrow we have another packed schedule of about five Warcraft 3 games um, so keep it here on Radio ITG powered by GameCloud and um, this is Warcraft 3 done for the day <laughs>